Elsewhere in this course, I showed you how to debug a sketch running on the Arduino Zero using Atmel Studio and the onboard ETPG chip. This is a powerful combination, making it possible to develop reliable applications without any additional hardware. Arduino Zero's onboard debug tool represents a significant advantage because at a price very close to that of the Uno, it offers a powerful SAMD microcontroller with built-in hardware debugging. In this lecture, I introduce OpenOCT and GDB. With these tools, you can debug your Arduino Zero applications relying completely on open source software. Both ship with the Arduino IDE. If you have the Arduino IDE, then you already have OpenOCD and GDB. OpenOCD is an open source and free on-chip debugger. It is used to program and debug embedded devices. In the case of the Arduino Zero, OpenOCD works with the onboard ETPG chip, which plays the role of the debug adapter. The debug adapter is an interface that allows OpenOCD to interact with the firmware that is running in the target microcontroller. GDP is a debugging tool developed and maintained by the GNU project. This is a tool that we interact with during a debugging session. GDP allows us to step into or over the code to inspect and set variables, to set breakpoints, as well as many other related functions. In this lecture, I will introduce OpenOCD and GDP. In the next two lectures, I will show you how to use these tools. Hi, welcome back. In a previous lecture, I showed you how you can do debugging using your Arduino Zero and Atno Studio. In this lecture, though, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing, or more or less the same thing, using, uh, again, your Arduino Zero and a couple of open source tools that allow you to do essentially the same thing as the Atno Studio. The nice thing about those tools is that they are completely open source, free and cross-platform compatible. They allow you to do debugging on your Arduino Zero and with appropriate support on many other platforms, not just from Atmel but from many other manufacturers as well. So I think it's a tool worth at least knowing that it exists and uh, over time as well becoming more proficient with it. I'm going to show you how to use two tools that work together. First we have Open OCD, which stands for Open On Chip Debugger. So this is uh, the first of the two bits of software that you'll need to use together in order to achieve debugging on the chip. Open OCD is responsible for allowing you to connect to the debugger, the EDBG debugger on the Arduino Zero, which is the tool that we use to provide the appropriate signaling between the computer and the debugging software and the software, the firmware that is running on the SAMD microprocessor on the Arduino Zero. Essentially, OpenOCD provides the connectivity layer. It doesn't do debugging though, and in order to do actually do the debugging, we'll be using the uh, GDB, the GNU Project Debugger. So the GNU Project Debugger uh, connects to the tool that OpenOCD gives us access to, again, that is the EDBG chip, in this case, on the Arduino Zero, and it implements the debugging features such as the ability to step into the code or, or to step over the code or to set breakpoints or to change variables and things of that sort. So these features are implemented by GTB. So again, just before we get started, I'll be using OpenOCD uh, to provide the connectivity between my computer and the debugging tool that is on board the Arduino Zero, that's the EDBG tool, and then I'll be using GDB to implement the debugging functionality that I need. 
Another nice thing about these two utilities is that they come with the Arduino IDE. So if you have the Arduino IDE on your computer, then you already have these two utilities and there is nothing else to install. We can just go straight into using them. And that's what we'll do next. The first thing to do is to figure out where these two utilities are. And of course they are installed uh, and of course they are installed alongside your Arduino IDE installation. So to find where that is, go to your Arduino menu and then bring up the preferences or the properties if you are on Windows. And then down the bottom here you'll find that more preferences can be edited directly in this file. But what I'm interested in is the path to this file. So in my case, my Arduino IDE is installed here under Users Beta Library Arduino 15. So I'm just going to click on that and I can see that this is the location where all the files that make up the Arduino IDE are. If I'm interested to find the location of OpenOCD, for example, then I'll go into Packages, then drill down the menus, and let's see down here where there's tools, you can see that there is an OpenOCD directory. So everything that I need is in here. The location of GDB again is under tools. You'll see here it says ARM, NUN, EA, BI, GCC. It's part of the tool chain. And then inside this directory, you'll find the binaries. And then down here, you've got a bunch of things, including the GDB tool. So this is the one that we'll be using in this example. The next thing to do is to upload the sketch that I'd like to debug to my Arduino. And I'll do that now. So connect my Arduino Zero to my computer. Select the type of board that I'll be uploading to. So that's the Arduino Zero via the programming port and select the serial port, this is 1422. And upload the sketch. Okay, so done uploading. Just wanted to point out a couple of things at the output of the building and upload process. First of all is that we need to grab the ELF file, the debugging file, and you can either just note down the location of this file here, or you can choose to make a copy of this ELF file into your project directory. So in my case, I don't really mind either way. I'm just going to make a note of the location of this file. I'm going to use a text editor just to put the location in here like that. I will need to import this file into my debugger later in order to provide enough information to it so that it can do the debugging. It can help me with the debugging. So another thing to notice here is that we are using, or the Arduino IDE is actually using OpenOCD in the background. So we will be using the same tool that the Arduino IDE is using for uploading the sketch to the Arduino. It's just that we'll be using it not to upload the sketch, but to debug it. You can see here that automatically the Arduino IDE selected the SWD transport option, the serial wire debug option, which is the same uh, transport option that we chose when we did the same thing using the Atmel Studio application. 
Arduino IDE knows that JTAG is also supported since the Arduino Zero has got a JTAG interface also available for debugging, but there's nothing connected to it, so it hasn't been selected. So we'll be using the same capabilities here, but just we'll be doing it on the command line instead of via the Arduino IDE.